For some people, when they think of spiritualism, they think of ghosts and ghoulies, dark arts, evil doers and satanic rituals. They think of people contacting the dead and believe this to be wrong. Having contact with spirits, being able to communicate with them and hearing voices is thought by many to be a joke. At best, something to laugh at or perhaps pitied with the people hearing voices thought to be crazy, off their rockers or out of touch with reality. In the past, society dictated that these people belonged outside of the main group, needed treatment for their disorders and be kept locked away from normal people, whatever that is, so they couldn't hurt anyone or damage themselves. Pump them full of chemicals to try and alter their mind and way of thinking. Strap them down and give them some shock treatment. That will sort them out. It wasn't long ago that this was the standard and was deemed to be acceptable. Thankfully, not now. Mercifully, we've moved on from the Dark Ages and witches, as some like to call them, are no longer burnt at the stake. Communication with the other side contacting spirits, mediumship, or whatever words you choose to call it, has long been criticised. In the past, protesters would proudly march up and down with placards outside spiritual churches, warning anyone thinking of entering that they are damning themselves to hell if they attend a meeting. It seems strange that when you do enter a spiritualist church, you find nothing but understanding, hope, positive energy, and most of all, love. You can feel the presence of love or God, whatever word you choose to use. And there's nothing sinister, nothing evil and nothing negative to be found. It's a church with singing and yes, sometimes crying, tears of relief and joy too, prayers and communication. There are no sermons of what is wrong and what is right. There's no being preached at and told what to do and what to believe. There is freedom, the freedom that comes from having an open mind and allowing people to live and let live. Let's not forget that mediums are healers. They act as a telephone line between two worlds. They bring messages of love from those who have moved on, from family, from friends and from ancestors. They bring reassurance, hope, comfort, and for many this is much needed. Having the gift to see is a gift that comes directly from the great creator. Many Christians used to believe it was a sin, even though evidence proved to them that Jesus was the greatest healer and medium that ever there was. Many people are afraid of death, and some people believe that when you're dead, you're gone, and that's that. Spiritualism teaches us that that's not the case. The body dies, but the spirit lives on in another realm, and on a level of positive, loving energy. There's nothing to fear since death's not the end. It's all part of having faith and believing, even if you can't physically see it, just like with air. We can't see it, but we know it exists, and we can't live without it. Communicating with spirits or loved ones that have passed over to the other side can be done in various forms. Mediumship can take place as clairvoyancy, seeing colours, images or objects, Clairaudience, hearing telepathic messages through thought forms. Clairsentience, feeling and sensing emotions of people, spirits and animals. Claircognizance, knowledge or spontaneous information of a situation, sometimes in the form of facts or figures. And physical mediumship, allowing spirit to physically move objects or materialise. Such examples would be levitation or ectoplasm. However, these cases are rare. There is also healing mediumship, healing through divine light and touching. Channeling mediumship, allowing the body to be taken over by the spirit to deliver messages through speaking and writing. And there is also trance mediumship. This involves quietening the mind with meditation or relaxation to reach an altered state of consciousness in order to bond with the spirit world and receive information. There is also clairgustance, which is the gift of psychic insight through taste and the salivary glands, and clairscent, which allows odours and aromas to be smelt from the spirit world. Some mediums can also draw psychically, as well as compose and sing music from other realms. 
More and more people are being awakened and are now aware, believing that death is not the end and life is just a brief experience. An experience in which we have a job to do, which is part of a bigger picture and for a bigger reason than we can possibly imagine. Many people have lived through near-death experiences. They have seen what lies after death. They have felt the love that exists, but they have been sent back. Perhaps to spread the word so we can let go of fear and also to complete their own mission and lead a full life with the knowledge that their NDE gave them. One thing is for sure, the time will come for all of us sooner or later, and there is nothing to fear as death is just a celebration of life.